in a recent study we investigate public engagement in social media and its impact on political events. To be precise, we look at public opinions during the EU referendum in the United Kingdom and the US election. First, we explore how information related to these events were disseminated in Twitter universe. In particular, we look for factors that affect user decisions of acquiring and spreading information. However, not all social media users are humans. In fact, social media is penetrated by social bots, the automated software that can mimic human behavior. The second part of our analysis aims to explore whether human opinions are affected by bots. To conduct this study, we use data on public opinions about Brexit and US election in Twitter. We collect all tweets that contain hashtags related to Brexit and US election. Our sample includes about 28.6 million Brexit-related tweets and about 181.6 million election-related tweets. To explore how Twitter users with different opinions interact, we divide tweets into different supporting sites using specific hashtags. For example, hashtags supporting Leave site include Vote Leave, Stronger Out, Leave EU, while Pro Remain hashtags contain Stronger In, Vote Remain, Vote Stay. This figure will show the daily number of Pro Leave and Pro Remain tweets from 24th of May to 23rd of July. At the beginning, the total number of Brexit related tweets was about 2,000 tweets per day. The number of trees increased steadily before the referendum day, reached the peak of about 160,000 trees during the voting day, then dropped to the pre-voting period level. The blue light shows pro remain trees, while the red light shows pro leave trees. As you can see, the number pro leave trees indeed dominated the number pro remain trees. A similar approach is applied for election-related trees. Pro-Trump tweets contain hashtags like American first, vote Trump, make America red again, while pro-Clinton hashtags include I'm with her, Clinton supporter or pro-Clinton. During the pre-voting period, the number of pro-Trump tweets was substantially higher than the number of pro-Clinton tweets with a difference of about 60,000 tweets per day. However, massive waves of pro-Clinton tweets came a few days before the election day, resulting in the domination of pro-Clinton messages during that period. Right after the voting day, the number of election-related tweets dropped sharply. To check the interaction between humans and bots, we need to detect bots. Following previous studies, we define bots based on several criteria such as abnormal shooting time, Suspicious number of tweets per day, high tweet volume relatively to the account edge, and number of daily tweets with the same content. In general, the pattern of bot tweeting activities is similar to the overall pattern. Bots were more active in spreading pro leave tweets during Brexit. During the peak time, bots created about 6,000 pro leave tweets per day. Most of the time during the election, the number of pro Trump trees were higher than the number of pro Clinton trees. However, just a few days before the voting day, the number of pro Clinton trees jumped significantly, with a peak of nearly 21,000 trees per day. Then we perform empirical analysis to find out how the treating activities of bots and humans reflect the information flows during Brexit and US election. We first find the strong engagement among all types of Twitter users in spreading news and information about these events. These figures will show the number of retweets created during the time from 10 to 120 minutes after the creation of the original tweets. Twitter users did retweet from others. The number of retweets were highest during the first 10 minutes, with an average of 4 retweets, then reduced over time. Our analysis shows that tweeting behavior of a user could be affected by other users. However, the degree of engagement among users depends on whether the same views are shared. For example, pro users tend to interact with other pro users, 
why programming users tend to interact with each other. Similar, the engagement is stronger either among ProCharm users or among ProClinton users. Furthermore, there were interactions between humans and bots in diffusing information. Most of the time, the original tweets created by bots were rejected by humans, not other bots. Again, the rejecting activities were strongest during the first 10 minutes after the original tweet creation. Results from empirical investigation provide evidence for the influence support on human cheating behavior. Whether the influence is strong or not, depending on whether bots cheat information consistent with human bias. For instance, pro-leave bots have stronger influence on leavers, while remainers are more likely to be affected by pro-remain bots. Similarly, during the event selection, pro-Trump bots have a strong impact on Trump supporters, while Clinton supporters are more likely to be influenced by pro-Clinton bots. Our results suggest the echo chamber's effect on Twitter. That is, people tend to group themselves with like-minded people so that opinions are reinforced. Social media users are more likely to acquire the information that they want to hear while ignoring the information inconsistent with their beliefs. Overall, our study shows that the aggressive use of Twitter posts, coupled with the fermentation of social media, leads to the increase in political polarization 